I've got a really super easy to make herb garden this week. It's got five containers on the top and the five on the bottom are for climbing plants or vines and I've planted some beans in mine. I think that'll fill out nicely throughout the course of the summer. If you'd like to build this project, be sure and download free plans in the description. So I got a bunch of these one by six boards. They're actually three quarters of an inch thick by five and a half inches wide. And these boards are one by fours, which means that they're actually three and a half inches wide, the same as the two by four. These are actually left over from when I built that gate last year. So to protect all of this wood from the elements, once the project is all built, I'll just apply a coat of deck stain and sealer. Now you can build this entire project using either a jigsaw or a circular saw. If you're finding yourself doing more and more DIY projects around the house, maybe you're a new homeowner, you might want to consider a miter saw because it's going to save you a lot of effort. They've got a fence that allows you to line up your wood and a blade that comes down to chop it in half. And they make mitered cuts or angled cuts by turning this way. And that's real handy for making frames. I'm gonna start by cutting the two bottom stretchers to length. When cutting long pieces, it's a good idea to provide support on one side. I usually like to cut off a little bit of the ends of boards because they're usually not very square. Two by fours are usually too thick to cut two at a time, so you can line them up and just measure the second board using the first board. And there's my two legs. I want to make sure that I attach this stretcher exactly 12 inches from the bottom. I cut a couple of scrap boards that are 12 inches long and I'm just going to clamp them to the 2x4. So now I can just line this 1x6 up against that board on both sides. Now I'm going to screw this on using deck screws. I've cut one of those three and a half inch wide boards to size. It's 66 inches and will fit between the two by fours. If you notice the wood starting to split, it's a good idea to drill some pilot holes before putting the screws in. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over the other way and put these blocks in here. So I can clamp it on there to have the 12 inch distance I need for this next support piece. So I'm just lining this up as square as I can get it. And then I'll just screw it in through the bottom. And I'm going to double check my 12 inch measurement up here. And now I can enclose this bottom section. It's a good idea to measure and cut all of these pieces to fit rather than all at once because if you're like me, the measurements aren't really exact on each of these. <laughs> make your own lattice but it just seemed a lot easier to buy one of these pre-made sheets. And I'm nailing this on using three quarter inch bread. And I'm going to drill some small drainage holes in the bottom of each of these. And finally, I bolted this to my fence so it won't tip over. And I made this rustic looking sign. If you'd like to see how I made that sign, click on the link over here for another video I made this week. Be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel for lots more simple woodworking projects that you can make. And visit my website at woodworkingformeremortals.com. You can also follow me on Facebook if you like. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff too. I'll see you next week.